write like a man. Use a typewriter. I wanted to ask you, we've talked about Harry Potter in the past. And, you know, like most people, you know, there's a bit of a schism, you know, where... Right, so Adam... <laughs> Adam is not, yes, Adam is like justifiably from a spiritual and religious perspective, anti Harry Potter in the household. Is there any, aside from just like what you perceive, what we all basically perceive, you know, because everybody has different levels of permissiveness of, you know, what they allow in the house. Um, is there anything particularly um, noteworthy that stands out as being like, uh, a real issue or a threat that you see in Harry Potter? Great question. <laughs> Adam Adam has his Aslan roar, his grumble going on right now, the, the purr of discontent. So, <laughs> for me, the biggest problem I had with the world Harry Potter is within is one it's almost like they're likening harry potter to jesus standing against the darkness yeah but the darkness made harry potter who harry potter is well now the mm -hmm. darkness didn't make jesus who he is <clears throat> True. someone higher made jesus who he is yeah the second thing I really dislike is the ministry. What do you mean by that? So the ministry of magic that oversees the world of sorcerers. Oh, yeah, gotcha. okay. Mm -hmm. Is so overbearing. So if you think of yeah. faith, if you think of faith in, in the Christian circles, you've got those people who are so strict about anything. But you know what? That's how their faith works. Likewise, you've got people who have got awesome faith, but are far less judgmental, far mm -hmm. less poke the stick, far, you know, poke with the stick, far less... And to me, the ministry was just like, step out of line and we're going to kill you. Draconian. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It almost the way they went about the ministry made me feel a bit like if you've got sorcery in Harry Potter's world, which is faith. Yeah. Oh, it that's was a good almost point. like yeah. you had the Spanish Inquisition mm -hmm. going around everything else around that faith. And funneling yeah. everybody into that small, tiny, teeny, yeah. teeny little ball. Mm -hmm. So that then there's no freedom of faith. Yeah. yeah. Because to me, you have to allow freedom within faith. Just the same way God allows us freedom of free will. Yeah. Because if you don't allow freedom, then you're not actually looking at god yeah god gave us free will for a reason yeah and if you're telling me well i've got to march down that road on the left side only taking 23 paces which have to be precisely 12.6 inches along <laughs> that isn't free will yeah and actually that turns into ceremony and ceremony doesn't necessarily give you any connection to God. It just means that you sit there and you're going, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Soulless and, drone. Yes. And that's what it did to me. Yeah. And, oh, and don't get me wrong. There was two little points in Harry Potter I really, I thought were good. One, no, one point one point that I thought was good. And that was when he found his Patronus. Oh yeah. And is that, that an Azkaban? The third yes. one? Oh yes. dude, that moment. Yeah. That's such a good, that's an awesome one too. Yeah. And yeah. that was the one point that I sat there and went, see if she'd have built the whole series along those premises. 
Yes. We'd have been there. I'd have been yeah. there. I'd have been with her along the way. Because at that moment, he connected with who he was and with his faith in his family and yeah. God. Yeah. And all of a sudden, his light shone and the darkness vanished.